Good morning, good morning everyone, and welcome to Morning Inspirations with Pastor Tim. This is the day that the Lord has made, and I will rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. This morning's inspiration is found in the book of Ezekiel, chapter 17, verse 24. And all the trees of the field shall know that I, the Lord, have brought down the high tree and exalted the low tree, dried up the green tree and made the dry tree flourish. I, the Lord, have spoken and have done it. Often the Bible, people are metaphorically referred to as trees. Jesus, in the process of healing the blind man, tells him to open his eyes. And he says, I see men like trees walking around. Though every year many are destroyed by drought, flood, high winds, and fire, there are still an immeasurable number of trees in the world. Other than mountains, trees are some of the largest and oldest of all God's creation, reaching heights of 380 feet taller than a 31-story a building and in age more than 3,220 years old. However, no matter how old, how great, how powerful, or how massive anyone or anything may become on the face of the earth, we all must reverence and give glory to the one, the creator and sustainer of all the universe, God, the creator of heaven and earth. Therefore, the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof and the world and they that dwell therein. For by him all things were created in heaven and on earth visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions or rulers or authorities. All things were created through him and for him, and he is before all things, and in him all things hold together. Worthy are you, O Lord and God, to receive glory and honor and power, for you created all things, and by your will they existed and were created. Nothing that anyone may possess has he obtained in and of himself. For man can receive nothing except it come from God. Every good and perfect gift comes from above, from God, the Father of lights, with whom there is no variation or shadow of turning. No matter the condition, the circumstance, or the situation you find yourself, whether you abound or abase, be content and give glory to God, for it is his will concerning you, and he is he who executes judgment, putting down one and lifting up another. Thank you for joining me today, and I look forward to seeing you again on tomorrow. Have a blessed day.